Good late morning. This is Pastor Jeff. It is Friday, July 8th, 2022. I'm here in my office for our daily lectionary reading. Psalm 25, 1 through 10 is our psalm reading. Genesis 41, 37 through 49 is our Old Testament reading. And Acts chapter 7, verses 9 through 16 is our New Testament reading. We'll be reading it out of the message. And once again, this is preparing us for what's going to be at church on Sunday. Psalm 25. My head is high, God, held high. I'm looking to you, God. No hangdog scowling for me. I've thrown in my lot with you. You won't embarrass me, will you? Or let my enemies get the best of me. Don't embarrass any of us who went out on a limb for you. It is the traitors who should be humiliated. Show me how you work, God. School me in your ways. Take me by the hand. Lead me down the path of truth. You are my Savior, aren't you? Mark the milestones of your mercy and love, God. Rebuild the ancient landmarks. Forget that I sowed wild oats. Mark me with your sign of love. Plan only the best for me, God. God is fair and just. He corrects the misdirection. Sends them in the right direction. He gives the rejection his hand and leads them step by step. From now on, every road you travel will take you to God. Follow the covenant signs. Read the charted directions. Our Old Testament reading comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 41, verses 37 through 49. This seemed like a good idea to Pharaoh and his officials. Then Pharaoh said to his officials, Isn't this the man we need? Are we going to find anyone else who has God's spirit in him like this? So Pharaoh said to Joseph, You're the man for us. God has given you the inside story. No one is as qualified as you in experience and wisdom. From now on, you're in charge of my affairs. All my people will report to you. Only as king will I be over you. So Pharaoh commissioned Joseph, I'm putting you in charge of the entire country of Egypt. Then Pharaoh removed his signet ring from his finger and slipped it on Joseph's hand. He outfitted him in robes of the best linen and put a gold chain around his neck. He put the second-in-command chariot at his disposal. As he rode, people shouted, Bravo! Joseph was in charge of the entire country of Egypt. Pharaoh told Joseph, I am Pharaoh, but no one in Egypt will make a single move without your stamp of approval. Then Pharaoh gave Joseph an Egyptian name, Zaphathah Penah. God speaks and he lives. He also gave him an Egyptian wife, Asintha, the daughter of Potiphar, the priest of On. And Joseph took up his duties over the land of Egypt. Joseph was 30 years old when he went to work for Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. As soon as Joseph left Pharaoh's presence, he began his work in Egypt. During the next seven years of plenty, the land produced bumper crops. Joseph gathered up the food of the seven good years of Egypt and stored the food in the cities. In each city, he stockpiled surplus from the surrounding fields. Joseph collected so much grain, it was like the sand of the ocean, that he finally quit keeping track. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of Acts, chapter 7, verses 9 through 16. But then those fathers, burning up with jealousy, sent Joseph off to Egypt as a slave. God was right there with him, though. He'd only been rescued from all the troubles, but brought him to the attention of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. He was so impressed with Joseph that he put him in charge of the whole country, including his own personal affairs. Later, a famine descended on that entire region, stretching from Egypt to Canaan, bringing a terrific hardship. Our hungry fathers looked high and low for food, but the cupboard was bare. Jacob heard there was food in Egypt and sent our fathers to scout it out. 
having confirmed the report, they went back to Egypt a second time to get food. On that visit, Joseph revealed his true identity to his brothers and introduced the Jacob family to Pharaoh. Then Joseph sent for his father, Jacob, and everyone else in the family, 75 in all. That's how the Jacob family got to Egypt. Jacob died and our fathers after him. They were taken to Shechem and buried in the tomb for which Abraham paid a good price to the sons of Hamor. And here ends our readings for the day.